Hello, I'm Ken Cooper. I used to be in prison, but now, like many other men who have come out of prison, I'm free and have an opportunity to allow God to have His way in my life. For 13 years, I was a bank robber, uh, taking hostages when I'd rob a bank. They called me the gentleman bank robber. I was as soft-spoken then as I am now. All I was there for was the money, but nevertheless, many people suffered as a result. And for 13 years, I left a trail of victims. I was the son of Satan. I didn't even know Satan existed, but I walked in such a darkness. You know, most people may get into living in the gray area of life, but I really lived in the darkness. And we have a choice in life. We can either follow the darkness or follow the light. And so I just thank God that he brought me out of that darkness when Jesus Christ came into my heart. So I'm now trying to lead other people into the light. And this is a great opportunity that we have. God has given me a second chance, an opportunity to do something good now. So I've been able to work with men as they're coming out of prison with my wife, June. We've sponsored almost a thousand now in 10 years. And uh, we're looking forward to another 10 years of this because not only are the lives of the men being changed, but where our halfway houses are located, where the men live when they come out, these neighborhoods are changing. So it's been a glorious experience, and I just am really grateful to God for that. The ministry started in the heart of June and myself, and the very first time we met, uh, we both shared the same vision. We say that the ministry is based on two things. One is on prayer, the second is on hard work. And the word is out that if you want to come to us, you better be a hard worker. The ministry starts in prison with prayer and a man's commitment to change his life through Christ. Careful selection is made based upon an individual's willingness to serve the Lord. Studies show the greatest challenge for ex-offenders is transitioning back into society. Upon release from prison, most men arrive at the bus station with nowhere to go no money, no friends, and no job. They've helped us in some of the neighborhoods. They have gone into some neighborhoods and actually um, helped some of the senior citizens uh, paint their houses. They've also uh, helped us in some cleanup programs. The men also serve as mentors for neighborhood children and build positive relationships. We're changing Jacksonville one life and one neighborhood at a time. And that's exactly who we are and what we're doing at the present moment. 